this is the charge IC here always the charge IC will find it near to the DC connector or power connector here we have power connector this is inductor we have here PL this is inductor here we have diode so inductor the big inductor this is the current sense resistor here we have the MOSFET here we have the charge IC so this is a normal diode why because we have the black line here for the Zener diode basically we find the blue line Okay, blue line so this is a normal diode here we have resistors do you see 102 means 1000 ohm because the two the third number always is the number of zeros okay so this is a 1000 ohm or 1k ohm resistors okay please pay attention this video will be a 100 percent for beginners for my loyal followers of course we gonna cover many motherboards and also in the schematic in order to be professional in schematic reading and also in hardware understanding here we have inductor or coils and over here we have capacitors this is basically electrolytic capacitors or polarized capacitors and those are ceramic capacitors so in the schematic this is basically the inductor and here we have this one is electrolytic capacitor or polarized capacitor and this one is ceramic capacitor but for this kind of capacitor we called it tantalum capacitor this capacitor also is polarized capacitor this one also is capacitor so this mark as you can see here the white mark here and this line here means this is the positive terminal and this one also here we have this line and this white mark means this is the positive terminal and negative terminal the same as we have here we have positive terminal and negative terminal so do you see here for this inductor we have pl so this is the reference for the inductor you will find always pl or l the same here in the schematic we have pl as you can see okay this one is basically an ic in the schematic the symbol for the ic is this square as you can see this is an ic for those this is basically mosfet exactly as this mosfet 8p mosfets do you see this white mark means this is the pin number one and over here we have a hole means this is pin number one pin number two and pin number three so these three pins are connected together do you see this part these three pins are connected together this is the source exactly as we have here in the schematic do you see one two three connected together and the, the pin number four this is the gate as you can see here we have the gate so one two three four this is the gate and four pins here do you see the same part these four pins belong to the same part so these four pins are the drain connected together exactly as we have here do you see four pins connected together so three pins for source and four pins for drain the same for this mosfet four pins for drain and three pins for source always the drain of this mosfet is connected to the source if this of this mosfet exactly as we have here do you see we have the drain connected to the source here we have the same path and also connected to this inductor do you see the inductor the inductor basically is in the middle the same as we have here in the schematic do you see we have the inductor in the middle so the inductor is connected to the source of this mosfet and to the drain of this mosfet as you can see here the inductor is connected to the drain of this mosfet and to the source of this mosfet hi everyone so welcome to another video this video basically will be a 100 percent for beginners and intermediate level technicians why because i'm going to teach you here do basically the components and i will compare the components in real motherboards like this motherboard this one this one and this one and also with the schematic as you can see so you will know here in this video do symbol 
each symbol here ref refer to which component exactly in a real motherboard so let's get started but please before diving into this tutorial make sure you subscribe you hit the bell icon because i can only help you if you are subscribed and activate the bell icon in order to get and to be notified as soon as I upload any video and please don't forget to share the video for other people's interested people like you and join me in my Patreon page for more unique exclusive and free laptop schematics to upload so thank you very much and let's get started first let's know about the component so we are gonna see basically four motherboards okay this motherboard this motherboard this also and this motherboard and i have here of course the schematic so let's begin for example with the first motherboard what we have here in the first motherboard very quickly and very easily don't waste the time we have let's begin for example with this ic this is basically the sio or the super io okay so this ic basically is the responsible the first responsible of the power or in the whole motherboard of course we have the charge ic but the charge the charge ic is a secondary ic after this ic so the east io manage all powers in the motherboard but for the charge ic that we find in the input okay it manage just the power between the adapter the battery and so the the input okay but for this i see basically this big i see it is the responsible number one of the whole power in the motherboard that's why if there is any problem within this uh, basically this this io or super io the motherboard will be a dead motherboard okay so then here as you can see we have inductors this is basically inductors two terminals component okay we have here pl as you can see pl uh, you can find of course pl or l the reference for inductor okay so we have here another inductor of course in the uh, computer you can find inductors in this shape and a small other inductors so let's see other uh, basically motherboards if i find other type of inductor so this is basic inductor the big inductors let's see this motherboard for example i hope that i, I can find uh, the the type of inductor i want to show you so here it is as you can see here for example this is we have here l do you see l2 means this is inductor this one also inductor please pay attention do not confuse between inductor and capacitor this one for example this is inductor we have l4 but those are thermal capacitors okay do you see the color is different so please do not confuse between uh, basically we called it s in the inductors or surface mounted device inductor so do not confuse between inductors and thermal capacitors so this one is inductor this one is inductor this one also is inductor we have here another inductor but those as you can see are thermal capacitors here we have thermal capacitors here we have thermal capacitors okay so let's go back to the first basically motherboard here so we have inductors here we have capacitors this is basically electrolytic capacitors chemical capacitors or polarized capacitors do you see here we have plus okay the same for this one also we have here plus means this is polarized we have positive terminal and negative terminal here we have the pad do you remember in the previous video that we're about of course how to troubleshoot the, the short circuit using the pads this is the pad here we have a pad here we have a pad here we have another pad so we will find pads basically all bridges or test point you can use this uh, basically part to test for example the voltage within this channel this is the first channel where we have inductor capacitor this is the, the second channel inductor 
as you can see, inductor, capacitor. This is the control IC. So uh, next to each channel, you will find a part that you can use to measure or to test the voltage. For example, this one is for 3.3 volt. You can measure 3.3 volt here. This one is for 5 volt. You can measure 5 volt here. And we have the control IC, basically 3 volt, 5 volt control IC. Okay. And of course, you can use this pads in order to isolate the circuits in order to detect the short circuit very easily so guys i will put the link for the video where i explain how to detect short circuits using these pads okay using these pads in the description please don't hesitate to watch that video because you will of course learn a lot about how to detect short circuits so let's move on so we have capacitors this is polarized capacitors here we have thermal capacitors those are thermal capacitor this one also is thermal capacitor this one also is thermal cap capacitor and over here also we have thermal capacitors so this one basically this is not mosfet here we have the bios okay for the basic input output system this is the bios why because this is a big ice it's not like a mosfet if we go here for example this is mosfet okay this is mosfet but this one this is the bios because you find always the bios near to the to the super io and why this is the bios and not mosfet because we have here u as you can see u31 because this is an ic this reference is for this ic and this reference u16 is for this ic but for mosfets we find the reference is q okay of course it's some mosfets also you can find you anyway so here we have basically this is the charge ic here always the charge ic you will find it near to the dc connector or power connector here we have power connector this is inductor we have here pl this is inductor here we have diode so inductor the big inductor this is the current sense resistor here we have the mosfet here we have the charge ic Okay, this is Zener diode, this kind of diode. Uh, so this is not Zener diode. Why? Because we have the black line here. For the Zener diode, basically we find the blue line. Okay, blue line. So this is a normal diode. Here we have resistors. Do you see 102 means 1000 ohm? Because the two, the third number always is the number of zeros. Okay, so this is a 1000 ohm or 1k ohm resistors. Okay, so here we have uh, basically transistors. What we have else? Here we have an IC. This is basically the control IC. Okay, that control. So this kind of IC, as you can see, we have, you can find this kind of IC with eight terminals or three terminals. We find always this kind of IC as amplifiers. Okay, so we have here also, as you can see, transistor. Do you see, we have Q, Q for transistor and MOSFETs. So let's move on right now before diving into uh, the compound here in this motherboard let's go to the schematic and try to see this compound that we have seen here in this motherboard in the schematic so here we have the ic so the symbol for the ic is a square like this why i have this basically here because uh, this is for the first channel here we have the second channel okay and this is main voltages this is thermal capacitors those capacitors are for filtering purposes anyway let's go back to our topic here we have the ic here we have mosfets we have eight terminal mosfets four terminals for the drain three terminals for source and this is the gate okay here we have the symbol for inductor pl 23. This is basically inductor, resistor, serum capacitors, and electrolytic capacitor. So this is serum capacitor, the small capacitor, and this is electrolytic capacitor. Here means the big capacitor, exactly as we have here. This is electrolytic big capacitor, and this is serum capacitor. Okay. 
uh, uh, what we have else here so we have capacitors inductors so this is what we have exactly here so i hope that you understand a little bit this compound basically we studied this motherboard in the next videos we're gonna study other motherboards of course i hope that you understand a little bit this component in a real motherboard and in the schematic basically we study this motherboard so in the next videos we're gonna study this motherboard we're gonna study also this motherboard where we have network resistors and other kind of component and we gonna study other schematics and circuit diagram so please if you find that this video is useful for you don't forget to like the video because your likes is really what motivates me to create more and more videos in a daily basis for you and subscribe share and join me in my Patreon page and for anyone who want to join uh, my channel and get some perks and features you can join me in in my channel membership thank you very much and see you in the next video